looking at it. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad. <laughs> I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. Hi and welcome to episode 2 of this White Hawk FC The Road to Glory, the Youth Edition where we take on White Hawk from League 2 trying to get them all the way up to the Premier League into the Champions League and once we reach that final the series will end and everything will be beautiful no matter how the game goes it's all about the love, right? Now, we have 3 games in this episode taking on Morkham home on the 5th of August and then we actually play them again on the 8th but this time in the cup the Carabao Cup also at home so we have two home games in a row against the same team and that's gonna be weird we are playing with the reserves in this cup game of course and then we end the episode with a game against Forest Green playing them away and that is gonna be amazing I hope it could be a disaster we also have on the 1st of August, we have the youth intake. We're going to get their scout reports back and we will have a look at that as well. So let's start with that and then we head into the first game against Morgan. Enjoy. So we have the first, well, we have the scout report of the players in the squad. Let's have the youth academy. Look, we have, well, yeah, it's not really doing us any good, is it? None of these guys are pretty much good enough, but we'll keep them here still, you know, just in case. But what have we got? Two players from the Scottish scout report. We have Angus McKay, 40 to 56, somewhere there, and he has a potential 62 to 86. And he's a well, he's a 70 year old keeper, six foot five. We're gonna bring him into the academy, but yeah. And then we have a 15-year-old Duncan Craig, and we're gonna have a look at him. Sign him. 67. He all, he's a six-foot-one keeper, and that's not gonna do it for us. We're gonna have to part ways right here. Enjoy and good luck, Mr. Craig. Next scout report from Wales. We do have a, another goalkeeper here. Um, Rodri Jones and he has a 69 to 93 so we're gonna bring him in he's only 61 so it's yeah then we have another one we have Emir Palmer he is 66 to 90 well let's he's 16 year old let's bring him in too he could be a midfielder you know we, we, we need one of those and he's 16 so we could actually bring him in we have Nathan Phillips, six foot seven. Jeez, is he a central defender? Because that could come in handy. He has a six. Yeah. Well, we're gonna bring this guy in too. You know? Why not? Mark Beaven. Yeah, he's not gonna cut it. He's six foot three, which is beautiful, and he seems to be a defender. But then he has a, his potential is not even. He, if he would actually reach the highest of his potential, he wouldn't make the bench. We are not gonna go with Bryn Smith. He's just too low. But the last guy, Ethan Young, 16 years of age. Yeah, why not? He'll he'll get into the academy. The last scout report, we are getting it from England. We have Harvey Ford. Jeez, he's a 15, so we're not gonna be able to use him for now. So we're gonna get better. So we're gonna we're gonna part ways here. Sorry. And then we have Ellis Jones. 15, but a 69 to 94. We're gonna bring him in and see what he develops into. 
Um, Finley Wright, sorry, 48 to 64 potential, not gonna cut it. This one, Marcus Middleton, yeah, we're gonna bring him in. 47 to 63 overall, and potential of 75 to 94. He's 16 too, so we could actually bring him in. Beautiful. Last and actually least, Taylor Collier. 47, 60. He's not gonna make it. He's just not gonna make it. We can't. Well, there you go. That was the youth intake giving us a youth academy looking like this now. We have filled it up, which is beautiful. We have actually a central defensive midfielder that we need. Remember that we are short there. Dale is playing both. We do have a central attacking midfielder in, in this guy, and there's not, we're gonna have a look at, you know, should we change position of any of these? I'm gonna do that off cam, we don't have to see that. I'm gonna do that in between the second, well, oh, sorry, the first and second game, when we play the cup game, because we need one of these guys uh, instead of daily on the central midfield. Phillips is looking decent, why not? He's a 56 rated and he's actually, I mean, he, he could do some, he can do some stuff. And he's six foot seven, which is a giant. Gotta do something about those purple shoes though. All right, let's head to the first game. So we have a kickoff here at the enclosed ground, White Hawk against Marco. And we come from, from you know, we come from the league premier defeat uh, against Crawley one goal to zero away. So the home fans want to see some good stuff, right? They're not going to be happy with us not doing everything to get those points, right? Get there. Oh, come on, Kenny. Oh, it's a heavy touch. And it's a good defending. Oh, this is gonna be a. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. You can't. Oh, beautiful save. Thank you. Cannot give them that amount of time inside the box. Usually a goal. But thank you, keeper. Pope lost the ball in a crucial, crucial situation. Oh, okay. Nice block again. We are struggling and I cannot get to the ball. And they shoot wide. Oh, we have the first goal. Beautiful. Kayani with a nice touch there. Beautiful pass from Pope. We are a goal up. Oh, that's amazing. Perfect run. And he just gets it next to the keeper, next to the post, and there's a goal for us. Imran Kayani's first goal of the season. Beautiful. He's the team captain, too. Wow. Get it back, and I can't get the right player. Oh, that's a beautiful pass. Do we have not a one all good? Yeah, I'm not sure you're gonna get a better chance than that. The fact that we have a goal lead still, it's just fantastic. We don't, they should have scored twice. But yeah. Oh, we take the shot. 
hope he makes no mistake. What a shot. We are two goals up. What is going on? I love this. Come on, White Ox. That's a nice finish, though. Nice cutback. One hit. Bam. Back of the net. I'll take that. We head into halftime with a two goal lead, and that is amazing. The fans are happy. The fans are happy. I wonder what the White Hawk Ultras are singing right now. You know? We are two goals up. They should be extremely happy. Oh, oh that's, that's. Yeah, they're probably not going to like me as a player, though. I'm dragging the club in the. Dirt. And that's just because of my skills. Oh, that's a good one. We put, well, we had to push him. He didn't have much of an angle, so he shouldn't have scored there. And he didn't, and that's good. But you just have to, you know, bear with me. Take the shot. Oh, that's a good one. Nice one, Paul. Yeah, it was braids, right? He had an amazing haircut, though. And now he has a, a grey. You know that's it's just sad. What? What can we do? Taking the shot. We're gonna make some subs. Quite a few actually for them. Wall of the who and right entering the pitch. Getting some first team football. Wright's entering the pitch, the center of the pitch with the ball. You can't think that he is actually a... Oh, that is... that is not a goal. Taking the shot. Oh, it's blocked. Too bad. Okay. I guess you can do that. Oh, he tricked me. Get there. Oh, why would you? We have three points at home against Morgan in the second game of the season. That's good. That is good. It's going to make us leave the lower part of the league table and probably climb up a little. Three points. Beautiful. Two goals to zero. I'll take it. So we did manage to get three points at home. Our first home game in, well, forever, I guess, in <laughs> League Two. Whitehawk did well. We beat Morecambe two goals to zero. We deserved the win. And then closed grounds were just singing of joy. We do have another home game against the same team, Morkham and, or Morkham, I guess. Yeah, Morkham. This time we're gonna go with our reserve team and we have brought a new player into the squad. This is the player that I'm talking about. We have Nathan Phillips, the Welsh's player. He's a central defensive midfielder, six foot seven, 56 rated. He's gonna, make his debut actually on this midfield instead of Daly who gets the well deserved rest because we don't want him to to you know get jaded that he, he would be that is if, if he kept playing every game there's too many games in, in league two and league one and actually in the championship too for players when you just have 22 <laughs> players in the squad it, it's just not gonna happen you know they're gonna get dead and injured and we don't want that because then it's going to be even harder and we probably going to have a few injuries in this series we, we we're not going to be you know spared from those let's head to the first cup game of this series white hawk taking on morgan this is the team we're going with we have glover in the goal we got parker cody right we have morrison in the defensive line we have collins coffee Phillips making his debut and Brewer and then Worrell as a central attacking midfielder on the midfield and then we have Shukuwase as a striker. 
Yeah, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be an interesting actually to see how how good Phillips could be. I mean, he's just a 56 rated, so there's. But I just don't. I you know sometimes you just get the right player for the style that you play with, and I, I do hope he's the right one. So, so let's take on Morecambe home at the enclosed ground. Let's see if we can get a good start in the cup. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. And we Perfect will play. kick the game off. My and let's Ray, let's give the ball to Philip so he can actually make his debut right there. He touched the ball, everything is beautiful. He did not die. So no need to be nervous, just play your game, you know? Oh come on, come on, come on, Mark. Oh, okay. Oh, we have a beautiful start from Morgan. They have a great shot, but Glover makes a beautiful save. Thank you. In the 16th minute, we need to clear the ball. We do. Oh, we... Phillips, chill, chill, chill. I do hope his size is going to help us a lot. You know? He's six foot seven. Getting the ball ahead of himself. Okay, beautiful. Cuts down. And we take the shot. It's straight at the keeper and it's a save, but that was a nice attack. I think the Carabao Cup, it's it's immediately penalties, right? Oh, we can't get there. Feel it. Making his first shot as a professional footballer home fan favorite players just because I'm trying to make one. Oh, get there, get there, get there. Oh, nice. Nice one, Phillips. You, oh, that's a horrific pass. That's a mistake that's going to be cost. Yeah, that's going to cost us. Big save. Jeez. You can't make a mistake like that. Goes for Parker. Parker will come with a cross, and it's uh, man, yeah. Can't get the nice defending. We have to. Oh, okay. Oh, Phillips lost the ball. Yeah, they took the ball from him, and there's actually. We are down a goal in the 85th minute. I didn't have a chance to clear it there. I got the ball and immediately lost it into the shot and it's a goal. Let's see the replay. He, he was actually trying, as you saw, he tried to clear it, but he stole the ball, so he kicked in the air. War leaves the pitch, getting tired. We have Pope getting a few minutes in this Carabao Cup. Not making many changes. We don't we want to you know, keep the place fresh. Come on, come on, come on. Want the ball. Taking the shot. Oh, it's straight at the keeper. In the 19th minute. And that's uh, just how it's. Taking the shot. Oh, it's too close, but. Yeah, and then we hit our own player. Really? Really? <laughs> That's it. We'll lose the cup game one, go to zero. Yeah, we can't really complain though, right? I mean, you saw the game. It's it's kind of fair. McKieran, he took advantage of the mistake. Well, we didn't have a chance to clear it. No shadow on Phil. He had a beautiful debut. We are proud of him. We do lose one goal to zero. Home against Morton. I'll just have to move on. So we are ready for the third and final game of the episode. Taking on Forest Green Rovers away. We are playing in our third kit actually. And they are going with their green kit. I didn't want to go with the red nor the blue in this one. Let's let's just have a little look at the uh, at the third kit and what that can do. So without further ado, let's head into the game. So of course we'll kick the game off and we are rocking. Come on boys. 
Alright, we get an early interception. And then we lose the ball immediately because I ran straight into the opponent. So, yeah. Let's walk. Oh, that's a big shot. Okay. Oh, we do have some space in the center there. Oh, it's taking a shot. Oh, we have an early goal. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Can't even talk right now. He finds the lower first post. Nice. Gets the pass. Takes the shot. Now, let's. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Mara is outrun on his wing, and that's a beautiful, beautiful one all goal. Wow, powerful header, nice cross. Stevens makes no mistake. Oh, we did have players there, so it's just, they were just better than this. Yeah. So, it's a one all game, and it's gonna be a tough one, this one, you can just tell. I'm do you know, we, we are pretty happy to be honest that we actually got three points against Morgan in the league um, I wasn't expecting that oh we have another shot from Pope and it's blocked and it's out we have a goal oh beautiful now that's a goal to remember too we have 2-1 after Kayani wins a duel against a keeper He's a big unit. I, I, don't, I don't know sure if he's big. He's, if he's a big player in real life, but in this game he's huge. Look at this one. He wins that, and he just yeah, no mistakes. So we have a two-one lead for now. For he just went straight. They they go with oh can't get to him. Yeah, can't get to. Him. Stevens with a brace, too much space, and the thing is that they want to go on wings, they have wing play, but they go through the center like my defenders, were. we only have two central defenders, but none of them were, none of them were actually close to it. It's a 2 all game, we can't say much, it's not like we don't. You know, oh, that's... They make some really nice play, though. Would we be happy with a draw? I think we actually would. Take the shot. And it's wide. Trying for the far post. Couldn't really bend it. The hole? No. Well, it can eventually. And we have... Oh, I can't reach to the... That's too bad. That could have been some. And we should be... We should be alright. That's far distance. I want to make shots for Kayani. No. Actually, no. It's gusty. It's gonna... That's gonna come back and bite us. Definitely. Oh, nice one, Keeper. Nice go. We do have... Oh, we do have a run here. Kayani. He's taking a shot straight at the keeper. He had pulled all alone at this penalty spot and he did not pass the ball. Game winning goal. Instead, of getting a counter attack, but the referee blows the whistle. We have a 2 0 game. We have a point away against Forest Green. I'll take that. Definitely. So, we have a look at the league table. We are sitting 10th, which is amazing. We have one win, a draw, and a loss. I'll take this, definitely. Look at that. We have, well, Walsall, Antron, Mir, and Gillingham are at the automatic promotion spots after three games played. We have Mansfield, North County, Crawling, Swindon on the 
uh, playoff spots and then we are chasing them with actually that's I'm happy with this one it's it's gonna be I mean look at that it's a tight one but I'm happy we are up at 10th that that's good we are gonna have a blast I think with this team it's 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 really hard but it's kind of fun you know I do I do hope it it's inter you know it's entertaining to watch not really sure of the quality um, but it's white hawk and we do love them right that means that the second episode is done and it's dusted and I do have to mention that I could not find a crest that was circle with a, something with a bird because white hawk you saw their club logo they have a, a, a hawk um, with the wings open um, striking down and there there were none of those badges to get um, now there weren't any circle ones so that's why it, we have the crest that we do but I like it still it's it got the club colors and we just have to roll with it right now let's end this episode and let's say that it was a pretty decent one we did get a win a loss and a draw now take good care of yourself stay safe stay healthy keep smiling smash that like button like there's no tomorrow if you haven't subscribed and want to join the family come on let's go take good care be kind to each other i'll see you guys in the next episode but till then one love walk bye we say no racism